which political story will make headlines in the next 24 hours. Washington Post editorial writer and MSNBC contributor Jonathan Capehart joins me now. Jonathan, I want a lot of hey, news Chris. on Libya uh, in just the last hour. Uh, on Air Force One, gaggling with reporters, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney, for the first time that the White House has said this, called the Benghazi attack a terrorist attack. And then Secretary of State uh, Hillary Clinton, I want to play some sound from her today, what she had to say about uh, the after action report on Benghazi and Libya. Let's play that. And we'll come back and talk about it. I am launching an accountability review board that will be uh, chaired by Ambassador Thomas Pickering. Just by way of context, Thomas Pickering, a former uh, U.N. ambassador, former Russia ambassador as well, very well regarded in diplomatic circles. So, Jonathan, this uh, in some ways is the what's next here uh, in Libya. It turned into a political football uh, last right. week, but there's clearly foreign policy implications in how we manage ourselves in this tumultuous time uh, going on here. Right. In these tumultuous times, in these fledgling democracies, or at least in countries that used to be run by dictators or strong men, where now the people had, with the Arab Spring, they rose up in revolt, and now they're trying to figure all these things out. But clearly, it's uh, been determined by the Obama administration, very important to get to the bottom of what really happened in, ben in Benghazi. As we all know, uh, three Americans were killed, including um, Ambassador Christopher Stevens uh, in the, at the consulate in Benghazi. So there are a lot of questions that have to be answered, both for the international community, but also for the American people. I believe there's actually four Americans, too, Jonathan, it, your, point, your, your point holds. It, it, the question I have is, it, I don't want to put it in too much of the political context, but this is clearly something that Republicans believe that Mitt Romney may have set, released a statement too soon, but in fact, this is an indictment broadly of the Obama policy in the region. Does this give fuel to that argument? It gives fuel for that argument in that um, Republicans who don't like the president and don't like the president's policies in, in the region, it gives them something to hang on to. But uh, I don't think it's going to get beyond that.